Lying leg curls. The reason we have this little block is because without the little block, you don't get a really nice stretch through your hamstrings. What we're doing here is a focus on getting full extension, making sure that our feet, knees, and hips are totally aligned. If your feet are way wider than your hips and your knees, you'll just take a lot of tension into your joints rather than actually into your hamstring. So give yourself every possible chance of keeping all that tension to your hamstring. Just have them stacked feet all the way to your knees, all the way up to your hips. Obviously that was my wrist, elbow and shoulder, but same idea on a press as well. So there you go. When we drive the knees over, we want to try and keep the tummy as tight as possible so that we get the minimal amount of hip raise when we kick our legs over. We're always going to get a tiny little bit of a shift. It's just natural that's going to happen. It's not going to be completely flat but you don't want excessive kind of hips up, hips down. That will take tension away from your hamstrings yet again. Always we want to see a solid pause at the top and at the bottom to be able to control your changing direction so that we can see when your exercise starts and when it stops. 